there is a web series family man where there is a man who can balance between his family and his duties yes next picture beautiful no we have more <laughs> yeah great yeah good facebook helps me oh where did you get all these things from i don't think they are from my facebook i must uh. sir we also think that you are also a family man so what do you want to say on it well i think as a family man i don't think i can be proud of myself why sir oh well i don't think i paid as much attention to my family yeah but i did but uh, not to the extent i would have loved to sir it's really a very long journey and you have devoted much more to your job so and also we have heard from some sources that you spend more than half of your year away from your family so for this you need family support so how your family supported in this journey and also um, would you like to share any incidents where you had to choose mtts or family no i think um, mtts would not have survived but for my family support very simple okay my wife uh, okay. took care of everything see every summer remember 28 years but what is my children's age they are twins their age is 34 so from the age of their age sex okay no summer for they spend with me but summer they have to go somewhere to our relatives place to their grandparents place everything everything was taken care of by my wife and the twins at the age 6 you see that how mischievous they would be so i think uh, she did a wonderful job and that's why sometimes i feel bad that time when i did not do as a, my duty properly as a family man but let's see no. but uh, their support and my children also understood that's something very interesting because see in every empty days you know that uh, we take them for a picnic especially in the main camp right yes, so sir. invariably yes, there will yes. be one or two photos which i carry back my children will see yes. that remember my children are between from 6 onwards they are seeing every year okay their dad is going with some uh, young children to a picnic spot but they are not there yeah but uh, luckily they understood now they are more matured they don't hold a grudge against me even sir your daughter uh, also write on facebook that you are a great teacher for her right right and she said that uh, you always said her and uh, always uh, like uh, promoted her to do anything in her life right yes sir so also you are a family man sir no see i made as i said my wife independent my children independent perhaps for my selfish reasons so that i don't know to go and help them <laughs> I did think about it. But sir, this is <laughs> that's a very, very, very Machiavellian thought. You no, know, you didn't occur that way. But you know, with a retrospect, maybe I made them self-reliant, atmanirbhar. Okay, mm -hmm. so that you know, I don't know to do my duty to them. Okay. Okay. So in some sense, yes, they appreciate it. That's what I said. That they appreciate is my blessing. sir have a smile on your face 
because we know a loving and caring kumaresan sir um so sir i want to ask that we have once over her that you are doing meditation and also morning walk so does this have it remain with you since your childhood no from childhood uh, yes in a uh, very surprising way yes because i i was always fond of walking see i was not, never a sports person i was not uh, you know the so called physically active in the sense of sports any organized games like you know tennis cricket cricket is unknown in my days okay or uh, tennis of course more more so but uh, even any kind of organized game like a kabaddi nothing i never uh, took part in any in any of these games but i was always fond of walking but meditation i kind of uh, by a very misadventure i got into that when i was in somewhere around age of 8 or 9 i tried to understand what is uh, death so for me death was someone uh, you don't breathe so i tried to control my uh, I, i started observing my breath without knowing uh, something happened when i came to my senses i found that something like 30 40 minutes have passed i did not know what happened okay oh, only later at the age of um, 32 or 33 i learned it was meditation i did not know that but after that i never did got into that it somewhat frightened me i never did that then at the age of around 32 i learned transcendental meditation when i experienced the same kind of trance then i understood that's what i experienced at the age of 8 or 9 right okay. Okay. but i do uh, uh, i do walk i still love a lot of walking and in fact most of my ideas or new proofs or new examples or new way of thinking all came by walking because when i begin to walk i keep, i start thinking about something and when i walk i walk fast not nowadays i don't walk as much as as fast as earlier but uh, that uh, supplies lot more oxygen to the brain possibly so its uh, creativity is more fired up so mm. that's why i ask my mtt students also when we are in a campus please go for walk okay yeah yes uh, so how much are you interested uh, just in just one second about music? walking just about one, yes, one second yes sir about in walking i think my greatest buddy for walking is a professor santanu but he still keeps walking very fast now i can't i can't um, uh, match him now anymore mm. but i used to Sometimes do it daily sir do you want to add something in this sorry uh, santhanam sir you want to add something in this uh, no i think he just uh, if he walks with me he gets uh, he we walk together okay so i can't say that he is really <laughs> <laughs> no sandhanam be honest i slow down not what we used to be about 10 years ago yeah yeah little yes yeah. yeah i think age is catching up yeah so i want to ask how much are you interested in music multiple language learning painting or solving riddles see my in is a uh, i will tell you first with respect to the so called fine arts like painting music etc i love them but it my kind of approach to them is like layman hmm. okay like the way you uh, watch some uh, good flowers or good birds or something swans children doing something nice you just watch it that's it okay it gives a good feeling okay i don't go to, to understand it much deeper or the nuances etc for example i yeah. i have no idea for uh, music but mm. i think i can find out something is good something is bad i may not even know what raga or whatever you call it okay but something if something goes out of the thing that's because of mathematical pattern recognition i think i may be able to say that but i mean but i have no idea mm. okay in fact i used to think okay. i am aurangzeb in that aspect but then aurangzeb apparently hated music but i don't okay i okay i, I like music mm. but um, minus as a pure layman's thing like say you know, somebody who mm. 
was interested in mathematics now you, when they find out that you are doing mathematics they also share that yeah i also loved mathematics i liked it that's it the same approach is what i have towards yeah. mathematics music yeah. okay painting yes i love it i try to understand the pattern but again it's a, just i appreciate it gives you some good feeling that's it nothing more sir so solving riddles solving riddles yes once in a while i do but let me tell you something which i decided very young in my life was not get into chess not get into bridge the, you know the card game and uh, there's some kind of a very challenging uh, highly challenging problems to start with that's because i found that that uh, it requires lot more focus and energy whereas i thought my primary aim is to do what i like most like mathematics and reading books and understanding people and try to see why certain things happen even in the society so i thought that's much better than for me because because my trouble is once i take up something i dedicate all my time at the cost of anything okay that's why i also said i don't think i did a good i was um, fair enough to my family okay so when i take up something my 100% of uh, dedication is in that then i was afraid i may lose my way to mathematics if i get to do the chess or bridge or some such thing okay because it's an intellectual game so you try to then i think i'm reasonably good so i try to kind of master it whenever i do something i want to achieve certain level of expertise that okay this is the best i can do i think i reach that okay i may yeah. still somebody may say that i can still go further that's immaterial but for my own thing i have certain expectations i try to reach that level then i will end up spend, wasting too much of time so yeah. i decided not get into this kind of stuff for uh, for example my wife is extremely good in riddles and any case so called you know lateral thinking uh, puzzles riddles you will find that she does at least some uh, five times as fast as i could do that <laughs> okay because mine is a mathematician strain mine i try to see the first avenues okay i'll come to that in a moment see yeah. so i try to give the the standard avenues only after the exhaust i try to look for uh, a radical or uh, some kind of lateral solution whereas she is okay. an untrained mind so she could immediately get she is uh, very intelligent and she can also do that mm. okay and just because of you ask this let me also tell you you may have some questions later about problem solving because this is one thing which i find do you have some questions on problem solving later about if you if you have i'll come to that do it now said do it now so okay. don't wait for the quiz sir <laughs> okay right it will be good in the same flow see many people try to see how to improve your problem solving etc etc mine is very simple the thing is first look at the body of knowledge call it something like 100 units okay ever since a human being okay uh, arose on earth you will see 99 point you put as many nines as your I mean, hands allow you percentage is okay done by ordinary mortals ordinary human beings genius portion will be very 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 negligibly small okay you understand that so for any kind of problem solving what all you have to do is look at the body of knowledge which was developed before you and try to understand it better that gives you enough tools most of the time 90 to 95 percent of the problems can be solved using that only about five percent of the thing may come with some kind of genius trick or something okay no? completely a different way of out of the box solution etc they are needed because those are the people you know people like uh, riemann newton of course einstein we all need them because when we are stuck at some place this kind of genius are the one who open up a path so that we can flow together after that ordinary mortals take over 
okay they build a body of knowledge but that's a sizable portion you have to learn so so one of the best basic important tricks is that do not go for problem solving think of even the theorems as a problem it's a big problem that's it <laughs> the lemma is a problem proposition is a problem corollary is a problem theorem is a much bigger problem so try to understand yeah. develop the tools whereas people they just want to skip that and look at problem solving what is the problem in tfr asked what is the problem in csa not asked what is the problem jam asked okay they only yeah. look for this kind of thing practice earlier question paper etc okay the best thing is to learn this you will find that you can do much better Mm, yes sir. Uh, thank you very much for allowing me to drift a little bit. So, so sir, um would you like to mention something about homeopathy? We have heard that you have lot of interest in it. So no, sir, I, I, please share something about. So no, I heard but in the covid times okay it's dangerous to say that okay people will pounce upon me. see i used to practice homeopathy i was uh, oh, to be okay no sense of modesty i can say i was extremely good at that because some of the things which uh, you know they could not be cured by even when they went to us or uk etc also i cured that's things that happen but those were my hey days okay those days i used to think only homeopathy kind of thing mass was a second the secondary for me at the time anyway so okay. yes but the problem mm. with the homeopathy is i will tell, tell you two things why i liked it when i was mm. in my 12th standard equivalent those called days called pre university puc mm. in tamil somebody had a book in homeopathy i read it and what i found was it almost like a euclid's uh, geometry you start with an axiom okay there is no proof for that okay you accept it after that he derives everything ha the founder of homeopathy hanuman seemed to have done that okay then uh, i was able to do some uh, good service to people in my village or actually in my uh, maternal grandfather's village uh, village so i was able to cure some of them with uh, just one uh, one week of reading and understanding what happens then when i came to bombay i developed a lot of interest read a lot of books then only i became really good mm. but unfortunately you know the point is that um, there is a what is called some avogadro number okay whom you think principles defy that so a lot okay. of uh, scientists look down upon that okay so i don't want to get into controversy when i was young yes i used to kind of i you know argue with them now i don't think i don't do that and also now i lost touch with that kind of uh, uh what you call deeper uh, thinking and aspects of homeopathy yes i did practice okay. because i know that some people are going to say what you two brutus kind of uh, comments i'm <laughs> i'm sure to get on this issue okay how can you say this like uh, you believe in homeopathy yes i do say. and to so i even now let me say i still do believe if i could do something i can help people yes i know it's yes, a great so uh, in uh, tf days uh, th- yes <laughs> yes sir say say complete it sir no Then no I'll i, I said you. this is going yes, to kind of um, really bring back lot of uh, brick bats towards me okay you know i always was ready what i believe i say that okay i don't want to lie or anything yeah. so i let it be there yeah okay. yes sir so uh, you were very famous in your tfr days and uh, you had a box uh, so can you hey. share those uh, those things <laughs> how did you know about those things who is the magic of taking breaks how did you know <laughs> <laughs> this is the magic i think you and i had forgotten you are right the thing is I, see i used to practice a lot of people used to come then i had to declare something like a clinic uh, timing kind of thing okay and people then i i used to have medicine so i used to give it free but a lot of people uh, didn't 
uh, want that way right there are two, two reasons they, they didn't think that they should accept medicines okay free of cost for revenue okay so they can afford so they wanted to pay second thing is i you know that there is also a belief for medicine you have to pay then only it will work for you kind of thing all right that kind of thing so couple of these two facts people wanted to say how much they should pay me there there are too many queries like that then i said okay i put a box and then said you just put whatever you want i will use it only to buy extra more medicines because okay that that way i will do that that's it okay and i also said those days the medicine okay this much of vial of medicine used to cost about 60 rupees or 1 rupee or maximum 2 rupees so i said don't put too much because you take the modern medicine okay one strip may cost you on those days 20 rupees so they may try to put more so i said no okay the cost is very small so do not uh, draft too much of money either yeah but i am yes. really surprised who told you who is the uh, your informer huh sir uh, i think uh, that's the magic sir <laughs> <laughs> that's very surprising santanam is the only one who is likely to know that but santanam i don't think you would have no, talked to him yes sir we have not talked uh, before today uh, or uh, anything yeah yeah we right. have not asked him we have not asked him yeah. you know I, i that's what i said so i don't know and baba yes he uh, he knows something about my homeopathy but uh, he may not know this aspect ta for aspect anyway but it's a very surprise detective mind is working like that and uh, guessing <laughs> the right persons out of the box sir uh, it is actually very amazing because uh, in uh, nowadays in 12th what happens that if someone is liking biology then he or she do not like math usually i mean some extraordinary case is uh, here also but for you it is uh, i mean you are like a doctor at that time as well as uh, i mean you were uh, doing good mathematics then it's uh, so amazing sir actually i mean yeah thank you but i think it's due to my curiosity whenever something uh, interests me then i try to understand as much as possible and try to acquire certain level of expertise that's what helped me yes sir yeah. so uh, let's move to the next topic i have one photo tamogna please share the photo wow yeah sir <laughs> he is my first grandson yeah okay she yeah, there this the three next thing which you observe yeah. yes sir uh, yes the... sir the moment i see this whenever i see that i still remember you can you believe from scratch these things he did in just about 5 minutes time okay hmm. and uh, then i asked him what they are he said race cars i think he was just about turned off here uh, uh, just about less than 3 at the time then he said um, hmm. they are all race cars then i told him you give me one and he said which is the fastest which is the next fastest and which is the slowest among the other thing but that's also a risk it's also fast you know then i said you give me one you know what you would have given the slowest one <laughs> yeah i still remember that i was really amazed the way which is very quick like that says you you would have seen some people doing a ruby cube very fast he was fixing the pieces like that very fast yeah Yes, you want to ask something more? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, the second thing which I observed here is the uh, self behind him. Yeah, I, I thought I you. That's what you were after. <laughs> that's why I prompted you. <laughs> yes, sir. You know your students very well. So it's uh... <laughs> yes. Ah. Uh... So, say about your loving towards book reading. So you have mentioned something about book reading. but i just want to know more about it yeah this is uh, perhaps uh, one fourth of the books now i have because uh, when i moved from tafr to mumbai university at those days university of bombay i disposed of some books and a lot of uh, notes which i had prepared and uh, then again from uh, bombay when i came to hyderabad 
almost uh, all my homeopathy books which uh, over the period of 30 years we have accumulated that i donated to somebody i took only about 3 or 4 books and uh, mathematics books about uh, two thirds of the books i gave it free to my students colleagues or whoever wanted everything so oh. this is uh, because uh, there uh, in bombay university i used to have something like a, a duplex house which was something like 2400 uh, or maybe more than that sft built in area itself and by bombay standards you know right uh, sankita huh? that's uh, like a palace so so i had uh, three such uh, bookshelves okay so i came with logo yeah oh. see i love books so, any book yes sir i was going to ask about the book which which was uh, one of your favorite so you was going to say about it i think no 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 i was not going to say that i simply said i love books in general so how much as I, i think i told you right uh, in the first part itself from my childhood i was very fond of uh, books there were days where i used to finish two or three story books uh, you know something like close to 500 pages in a single day that you know and math book also i used to study a lot All right oh. okay uh, so how much do you encourage people to be in these areas uh, in these areas means music art and uh, other than study other than studies yeah uh can you again uh, ask the question i just yes, want sir. to understand so what exactly you, uh, you are digging for people to be in all of these areas which i mentioned besides studies oh besides studies i think uh, you, you should also pay attention to your friends and family i think i was uh, when uh, that way i think i paid enough attention to my friends to family i wish i had done more yeah but i think i have been a very mm. loving father husband everything but i could have spend more time with them but i spend more mm. time with uh, my students and friends than with my family perhaps yes for example yeah. except in the first few years mm. i didn't teach my children only in the beginning of uh, kindergarten and then first and second third standard up to that after that they did on their own except my daughter when she took up uh, mm-hmm. accountancy she used to come and uh, ask me doubts and i did not know the difference between debit and credit <laughs> okay you know that in uh, accounting you have to see it's a uh, or they call double entry accounting right so you have to do that so every time okay. she will uh, explain what is meant by debit what is meant by credit and then try to explain the problem but she did she did exactly okay. what i did when she explained she understood the problem she solved it i said no papa don't worry i solved it <laughs> okay <laughs> that that's the only thing i remember when they grow up i contributed to my children's study that's it at uh, my son my daughter they did on their own for example none of the board okay. uh, studies see almost all my colleagues when their children came to board exams then they more or less took off from uh, mtts or uh, they you know or if they have to join admit them into colleges they took off but uh, i never did any of those things i i am not very proud of that either okay and i am yeah. not kind of trying to uh, disparage my colleagues no it's not true what i'm saying is i'm matter of fact okay and uh, i'm okay. giving uh, kind of credit to my children they were independent they did on their own everything into yeah the, even my son's uh, engineering he said uh, he already did uh, everything list he said him there is a paid seat this much of uh, money is needed so i went to the bank and kept it and sat with him nothing else i did he did uh, on his own okay i didn't even give him oh, you should go for this course or that course or this college nothing i did not know anything yeah 
but anyway in some sense it's okay i think i made them more uh, mature and independent yes mm.